Hello, in this video we're going to be doing another uh, simplification of uh, Boolean expression using De Morgan's laws. Um, the equation I'm going to show you, or the expression rather, that I'm going to show you, uh, I found a bit tricky until um, I was kind of just shown that I was just making a really stupid fundamental mistake and I'm going to show you that mistake so you don't do the same. Um, so the expression we have is not A and B but the not of this and not A and C and the not of all of this. Now the method um, I'm going to show you involves thinking about these as, as groups and I did this in the previous example. I want to consider this group here as X and this group here as Y. Um, that would then give us a expression that looks similar to this. So we'll have the not of X and Y and the not of all that. Okay. Um, using the first law, okay, we've got the negation of the conjunction. So this is the conjunction part here and the negation is the opposite. We are going to turn that into uh, the disjunction of the negation. So we're going to go not not x and not y. What we're then going to do is look down at our table here and look at the distributive uh, rules and see that not not a equals a. So by applying the not not a equals a rule, we can then simplify this and say, okay, so it's just x and not y. So that's what we're going to try and achieve first of all. So from this point then, what we're going to do is we, we, got, we, we want to smash this not gate out of existence, okay? So we're going to go not, not, not A and B. Turn this into an OR gate now. And now we've got not of not A and C. The, we'll apply this rule up here of the um, not not A equals A to this object, thus giving us not A and B or not A or the not of not A and C. Now we want to get rid of this not um, so we're going to apply the same rule again uh, as we did up here. We've got an object and we've got the, the negation of a conjunction. So we're going to go not not A and oh, rather or not C. This is still carried forward. Okay, we can then apply the same rule again. So the not not A equals A. We can say, okay, so that's A plus, or rather, or not C. And we'll put in these back in as well. Okay, now the mistake I made um, was trying to convert this into an OR gate. But really, I, I, there's no rule that allows that to happen. We are now in its most simplistic form because there's no NOT gate above. Um, and there's no rule that allows us to now modify that into... Um, an, an OR gate. So we leave that as it is. So what pattern do we need to look for now? So if you look at, if you look at the um, table here and look for a pattern that might be similar, you might spot this one under the general rules where we've got A or not A and B. Well, we have something like that here. And if we were to use the, um, let's highlight that section here. If we were to use the laws here of um, the commutative laws and also the associative laws, then we can rearrange this now into something that actually works for us. So let's do that. Um, we're going to say, well, let's go for, let's try and keep it the same as this. I'm going to move this A over here, this regular A over here, and say 
That is equal to a plus not a, b, and, or rather or, so a or not a and b or not c. Now, if you look over back at this general rule, we can see that a and, or rather a or not a and b is equal to a and b. So we can turn this expression here into simply a and b. Thus leaving, oh, I meant to say a or b, rather, start that again, a or b, or the remaining not c. This is the most simplistic form or simplistic way of expressing the original complex. Oops, let's try that again. Ooh, hello, extras. This is the most simplistic way of expressing this complex expression. And we can prove that in one of, well, in, in different ways. One way I mentioned in the last video was to uh, draw a truth table, okay, to do that, and also build it, okay? So let's take a look at the um, building of it first, okay? So here I've got a, um, let's bring this down a little bit. When I built this, I didn't think about where the video was going to be filmed. There we go. Um, so now we have, if I test all these lights, up, up at the top here we've got our original complex expression. We've got four gates. We've got a NOT gate, a NAND gate, a NAND gate, and a NAND gate. And it's been simplified into just two OR gates and a NOT gate. Okay. And if you remember, a NAND gate is actually made up of an OR gate with two NOT gates preceding that as well. So these NAND gates are quite complex in their own right. So now I can mess around with this and I can see that actually when lights turn off, they, all the circuits work, all the combinations work. And we can say that the light will always be on if we have NOT C. Well, that's NOT C. If I turn on C, the lights turn off. NOT C. Or B, so let's turn on B, lights come on, or A. So we can have then A or B, and the lights will be on. And I can mess around with C as much as I like because A and B are on. If I turn these off, then only C will be controlling them. So that seems to work and matches our assumptions. Let's take a look at the actual truth tables. I've used Wolfram Alpha again, um, and I can see that I've, I've typed in the the actual complex um, expression here using not and 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 all that jazz, and I've got the truth table here, and I can see that actually yes, that that matches up with everything. The light was pretty much on, providing um, the only time it wasn't on was when A or B were off, or C was set to true because. C is actually a not. Okay, so that matches our, our assumption. And if we look at our most simplistic form, we can actually see that the truth table is exactly the same. So the two tables perfectly match. And that means that our method of breaking things down, looking for patterns works. And it will, you know, if you use that sort of structure in your, um, in, in your, um, well, when you use this kind of method when you're doing your own simplification, you'll find success more often than not. All you've got to do is make sure that you memorize these rules. You know, in you will, you need to memorize these rules for the uh, exam, especially if you're doing AS uh, computer science with AQA.